And this is why I'm so excited about the new missile that all of us were going to be facing in about, I would say, a year and a half. I guess the schedule is that it's going to be in use, or at least uh, uh, available to us in Advent 2011. And for the first time, the priest will have a missile in front of him, in which the music will be uh, presented on the page as part of the ritual. You realize that this is not true right now. I got the shock of my life, I think about two years ago, when I was preparing a seminar for priests to sing. I looked at the sacramentary and I thought, well, it's no wonder priests don't sing the mass. I mean, look how difficult, it's crazy. There's typos, I'm sorry to say it, but there's typos all over the place, for one thing. The music's very unpleasant to look at. You have to dig around, uh, uh, even all the way in the back of the book, to find, find music for some Eucharistic prayers and things. It's, it's very haphazardly done. It's, it's really very shabby. I think, actually, the role of the current sacramentary in harming the sung mass has been underappreciated. I mean, if you look at it, you can see why. It, it, it really seems to punish any priest who tries to sing the mass. Usually, you have to go to other resources, print out something from the internet or whatever. So, um, anyway, I have here the music that we'll be singing in a year and a half. And I must say, uh, they did a wonderful job. Brother, let us acknowledge our sin, that we may prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. In this time to reveal the contract of God, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. You came to call us sinner, Christ have mercy.